You ready? All right. First of all, pick your carb up. Make sure the fuel inlet that comes off the side of it that it's a brass insert and it's not one of these plastic pieces. You're going to see this plastic piece. There's a brass piece inside of that. When you go to break it off, you have to take it, stick this in a vise usually, and work it out. Pound on your new piece. That way, you make sure these crack and break open. You'll end up with gas all over the ground. Okay, second of all, you want to make sure that your spring inside is a stock spring. It's going to measure five and three quarters in length. Uh, you're going to see these aftermarket springs. They're a little bit lighter. You're going to look at the gauge of it too. It's a little bit lighter, but they are going to be a little bit shorter. If you have a short spring or aftermarket, take it, throw it away, get you a stock spring. Next thing is make sure your needle is not an adjustable needle. These adjustable needles, they're junk. Take that, throw it away, get you a stock needle. If you can get an earlier style one, some of the later ones are like EPA restrictive, get you an early style needle, it'll work good. Okay, first thing we're going to do is you're going to modify your slide. You're going to pick your slide up and you're going to look at it. You're going to hold this up to the light, make sure that you can't see any light, you don't have any holes in it. If you have holes in it or you see this one's got a burn mark, take it and throw it away, put it in the trash. Okay. Second thing you're going to do is you're going to take a 760 force drill bit, which is one below eighth, and you're going to see you have two holes on here. That back smaller hole, you're going to take that 760 force bit and you're going to drill that out. Once you're done with that, you're going to take a file and you're going to file the edges of this thing. This is the front on the opposite side. This is the back. The back side, I'm just going to roll it off a little bit. The front side, you can take and you can actually roll it over and file it. You don't want to roll it too much, but if you get it about 16 eighth inch wide, file the bottoms of this thing, clean this all up, get all your burrs off, make sure you get the edges here because this is where it's going to hang up, file that, roll the edges a little bit. Once you're done with that, you can take a t piece of steel wool, shine this thing all up. When you're done, you'll end up with a slide like this. It'll be nice and clean. You're going to see the edges are rolled. It's all nice and clean. This thing's going to flow really well. Okay. Once you're done with that, you can take that stock needle that you got and you can get you two washers. You can use fender skirt washers from an FL. They work really well. These are about 30 thousandths thick. You're going to take those two washers and you're going to stick them over top the needle. Okay. Then you're going to take your needle and you're going to stick it down through the center here and drop it down until it comes through. Then you're going to take this little plastic foot thing that you took out feet go down, put that inside. Then you're going to take your spring, you're going to take your stock spring, you're going to take a pair of nippers, and you're going to count one full turn off this thing. You can actually do up to one and a half. We're just going to do one on this one. And you're going to clip that spring off. I'm clipping this off the aftermarket one because I've already clipped my own spring. Once you've clipped that off, you're going to end up with your stock spring. Actually, I got a new spring for this. We're going to clip it off here. So we're going to clip one turn off. Now, the piece that you cut off, you want that to go up, not down, so that it goes towards the cap. You're going to take that and you're going to stick it in there, and then you're going to take your slide, and you're going to stick it in your car, but it's only going to go in one way. The small hole goes towards the back, okay? You're going to take your cap, and you're going to make sure that that piece falls in the top of the cap, the spring, and you're going to work this top down on there. Now, make sure that when you work this down on, you're going to feel it kind of fall into the groove. You want to make sure that you don't have any rubber sticking out or anything like that. Once you're done, make sure that you got suction, that you can hear this thing, and that you don't have any parts that are stuck. I'm going to take two screws and put them in here real quick temporarily. We're going to screw this thing down. Okay. Tighten this down just so we have it all set up. Okay. Now that we got that done, that's your slide modification. You're not going to mess with that top anymore. I'm not putting the bracket on it. You have to put the bracket on the side. Okay. Now, this is the bottom of your carb. You're going to see three spots here. You're going to see this hole, small hole, and a large hole. This, this is your main jet right here. Okay. For an Evo, you should have 165. An XL should be a 160. Twin cam will be a 190. If you're anything but that, change it back to what, what you should have. This other hole next to it, you're going to see this small hole that's kind of deep. Down in there, that's going to be your slow jet. Okay? Stock on an on a Evo and an XL is going to be a 42. You're going to want to bump that up to a 45. Stock on a twin cam is going to be a 45. You're going to want to bump that up to a 48. So I'm going to take, and this is for an Evo, we're going to put our 45 jet down here. And you're just going to tighten that up. Okay. The other thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to check your float height. This is a good idea. Um, you don't have to, but I kind of recommend it. I made this little gauge. This is about 15, 20 degrees right here is about what you want to be. That holds it so that the float is actually, the needle is actually not closing off. 
Okay, and then you're going to have for twin cam, you're going to twin cams and sportsters is going to be 0.413 to 0.453. 0.413 being a little bit richer, the higher number is going to be leaner. An Evo old style is going to be 0.750 to 0.770. You're going to see I've got the set, and what you're looking for is just like that right there. Make sure it's set at the right height before it's closed, and I'm setting that at the 0.413. That's going to be a little bit richer and run a little bit better. Okay, now once you got that done, that's all set up. Now we're going to grab our float bowl. This is our float bowl. When you take this bottom piece off, I do recommend at least changing this. This is your diaphragm spring, which controls your accelerator pump. And that piece is going to sit in there just like that. You're going to have two O-rings sometimes here. Some of them only have one. Uh, replace that O-ring also. And inside here, when you take it apart, make sure you don't lose the spring. It doesn't come pop it out on you. That spring goes just like that right there. And you're going to take this. Make sure your O-ring doesn't fall out. Make sure the spring's in there. You're going to take that. We're going to tighten that down to the top of there. Okay. I'm just going to put a screw in here too, just to hold it together for a little bit here. Let's show you and make sure that everything's set up. Now, some of these older float bowls, you have a check valve in the side of here. Some of the newer ones, you won't hear it. The older ones, like this one, you'll be able to hear it. I'm going to shake it as soon as I tighten it down. You just want to make sure that it's working. Afterwards, you can take some gas and we'll put it in there pump it and make sure it's actually working you're not getting any leaks but you can actually hear the check valve in this one okay and once you have that done the other thing I do is I take a square file like this and you're going to see the head of the accelerator pump you got that little hole where it comes out I'm going to take this and put it on edge and what I do is I actually just take it and then run it across the face of it that's just going to kind of bevel the hole a little bit it's going to make it squirt out instead of peeing out straight it's going to actually squirt out and kind of atomize before um, goes into the cylinder. It's going to burn a little bit better. After you're done with that, you can take your accelerator arm right here and you can actually put it down in there. And this way you can actually pour some gas in there. You're going to have a little hole inside this bottom, so if you go pumping on this thing, it's going to squirt up in the air. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to stick it over inside that hole. When I'm done, you can just pump this thing until you see, until you see if you actually are getting any gas or you're going to see the, the gas coming out. You kind of got to pump it. Make sure your accelerator pump's working. When you know that's working, then you know that you're not going to have any problems. You can put this back together. It's going to run a little bit better. Okay. And once we're done with that, you're going to take, be able to put your float bowl on this thing. Last thing you're going to do is you're going to see this bung sticking off the bottom of the carb here. It's sticking up off the top. And what you're going to have in there most of the time is going to be this aluminum plug. I already drilled this out, but that little aluminum plug is going to be right inside of there. Take your drill bit, you can use the same drill bit you used for the slide, 764. So drill down, and it's going to fall through. There's going to be an air hole in there. After you're done with that, you can take and screw a machine screw inside that thing. Take it down, put a pair of pliers on it, work that little plug out of there. Underneath there, you're going to have a little flathead screw, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to turn that screw in lightly until it just lightly seats. You don't want to turn it in too hard. If you turn it in too hard, you're going to buckle the inside of this car, but this thing's never going to idle right. Okay, so we're just going to turn that down until it just lightly seats. Then what you're going to do is you're going to back that thing out about two and a half turns to two and three quarters. Kind of re recommend two and three quarters with ethanol. Uh, gas doesn't burn too well. I'm going to adjust that up. Then once I put my float ball on this thing, I'll be able to stick it back on the, uh, back on the bike, and it's going to run absolutely great. You might have to adjust your idle a little bit because you change your fuel mixture, but other than that, you should be set up. Put your choke cable back in there, of course, and you'll be all set. All right. Appreciate it, Doc. Hope it runs well.